If you want to get yourself a second passport, a second citizenship, you can actually buy one. There's 10 countries around the world that offer citizenship in exchange for an investment. We're going to cover those 10 countries, the requirements, the amounts, and what you get for your money. The first country is St. Kitts and Nevis, where I'm actually a citizen. I invested 150,000 US dollars into their sustainable growth fund it is a donation so you do not get the money back but you get this shiny beautiful passport that lets you travel to a lot of countries more privacy more freedom and a lot of benefits in six and a half months if you don't want to donate you want to go through real estate you can buy real estate worth 200,000 us dollars if you sell it after seven years or more or four hundred thousand dollars if you sell it after five years or more I don't really recommend real estate in St. Kitts and Nevis or anywhere in the Caribbean. I'm from Puerto Rico and typically in the Caribbean, it's popular to sell overpriced real estate. Sometimes you get scammed and sometimes you get real estate that you can't even sell in the future. The second country also in the Caribbean is Grenada, a beautiful island called the Spice Island. If you give them 150,000 US dollars into their national transformation fund, you can also get their passport in six to eight months or you can buy real estate worth 220,000 US dollars plus $50,000 in fees. So really you're spending around 300,000, 330,000 US dollars if you add on lawyer fees, due diligence fees. So it's gonna cost you over 300 grand if you go with the real estate option, but obviously 220,000, you can recoup it after a number of years. The Granada passport is quite famous because you have access to the E2 visa in the United States. So if you're looking to live in the US, I don't see why anybody would do that. Or if you're looking to access the US, if you're going to renounce US citizenship or you have a really bad passport, you wanna get a second passport and then access the US for a couple of months per year, then you can do the E2 visa through Granada. This is the only Caribbean country that has E2 visa access and also has citizenship by investment. The third country available to you for citizenship by investment is the island of Dominica. The one that processes the most applications people are the most interested in, specifically Americans that want to renounce their citizenship. This is the most affordable and best value for the price that you're spending program out there. For $100,000 into the Economic Development Fund, you can get the citizenship in about five to seven months, or you can invest in real estate of around 200 thousand us dollars dominica has had some problems with people not doing proper due diligence checks in order to receive the passport but overall it's a very strong country that now has visa free access to countries like china which is quite hard to get visa free access to many passwords including the us passport don't even have access to china and dominica does so if you're looking at that country to access you can definitely do that and it gives you the same visa free travel or almost the same as st kids or Granada does. So definitely one to consider if you're looking to spend less, Granada and St. Kitts, you're spending 150 grand. Dominica, you're spending 100 grand for the exact same visa free travel or very similar benefits. The next country, also island country in the Caribbean, two islands, Antigua and Barbuda, a $100,000 donation to the National Development Fund of Antigua and Barbuda gets you the citizenship in about six months. But what they don't tell you is that you also need to pay $30,000 in fees to the government. So $130,000 donation is the real price tag for this program. Or you can go for real estate worth $200,000 us dollars what is very interesting about antigua is that two applicants can buy real estate worth four hundred thousand dollars so each person buys for two hundred thousand each and if you buy a huge villa in antigua and barbuda or if you buy a penthouse in antigua and barbuda and it's worth four hundred thousand two people can apply and you can also apply based on their family members so definitely something interesting if you're looking to partner up with somebody maybe a business partner maybe a client that you both want to get the citizenship that would be a great option if you're both looking at second citizenship which citizenship by investment are you interested in getting comment it down below and why you're interested in getting that passport the next country for citizenship by investment and the last country in the caribbean that offers their passports for sale is saint lucia for a contribution of a hundred thousand us dollars you can also get this passport it is not a strong in visa free travel but definitely it gives you a lot of asset protection capabilities and it's a passport that typically has very strong asset protection rules and also a country that you can potentially live in as a wealthy individual or you can invest into real estate worth 300,000 US dollars or more. Obviously all of these real estate projects are approved by the government in every single country so don't think that you're spending 300,000 
to whatever property you like, you're spending in property that the government deems sufficient for this particular program, which might be overpriced and you might not be able to sell it in the future. So be very careful. If you want to get a good deal, then definitely Dominica and St. Lucia, both $100,000 could be the cheapest options for you if you're applying as a single person, because sometimes if you're applying as a family, there are other options that are actually cheaper. The next and best country around the world to do citizenship by investment, the passport that gives you the best benefits to live in over 25 countries and also travel to over 185 countries around the world is the island of Malta in the European Union, in the Mediterranean. They offer their citizenship for around 1 million US dollars and it takes a while to get this passport. It can take up to 18 to 24 months, two years to get the passport. You need to give them a donation and you also need to rent or buy property in Malta and you need to spend a significant amount of time in the country. It is not like the Caribbean countries where you can never go there. I've never been to St. Kitts and I'm a citizen of St. Kitts by investment. In Malta, you actually need to build ties to Malta in order to get the citizenship because they are highly criticized by the European Union, and it's a country that has gone through a lot of the diligence checks and a lot of problems through their history. If you want to get a European citizenship by buying into it or investing into a country, then definitely this is the best program out there and the only program in Europe that you can get the passport in less than five years with an investment. So get it as it's available because it might not be available in the coming years due to pressure from the European Union and other countries that Malta has visa-free travel to, like the United States, like Canada, as an example. The next country, which is quite popular with a lot of Russians escaping the situation, as well as a lot of third country nationals that want to improve their passport strength in the world, want to travel to more countries, and that is Turkey, a country where you can get citizenship by buying real estate worth 400,000 US dollars or more, or putting a fixed capital contribution of 500,000 dollars or more, or depositing 500,000 dollars or more into a Turkish bank account. All these options will grant you Turkish citizenship by investment in around three to five months. So it's a fast passport. I personally know friends of mine that have done it, and it does take four to five months to get this passport. You just buy the real estate, you can sell it later on. They recently increased the price from 250,000 all the way to 400,000 and the prices will keep increasing. So if you're looking at having a second passport that maybe doesn't have access to the US, doesn't have access to Europe, doesn't have access to a lot of countries, but it has good access to the West, as well as being able to apply for E2 visa for the United States. And overall, having a second passport that protects you, maybe you can use Turkish banks, even though I don't recommend them that much, or maybe you just wanna have a great property in Turkey, in Antalya or Bodrum or somewhere nice, then definitely something that you should consider and you will have this passport to travel all around Turkey and enjoy the benefits of this extra passport in your portfolio. Really quick, after you watch this video, if you're looking to work with wealthy expat, get a second citizenship, second residence, lower your taxes, optimize your business structure, click that link in the description after this video and book a call with us. We are happy to help you. Country number eight on this list, not quite in the European Union, but very close to Europe, absolutely beautiful country. They use the Euro as their currency is Montenegro. Stunning country. I was there last year, absolutely loved it. With an investment of 450,000 US dollars in the capital Podgorica or in the coastal regions, which are beautiful, or an investment of $250,000, these both into real estate in the central part of Montenegro, which is a lot more rural, and also the northern part of Montenegro, which is even more rural. So you have those two areas. You can invest 250,000. They want to develop those other parts of Montenegro, or you can invest 450,000 into a nice apartment or villa in Kotor or Budva. Do keep in mind that apart from this investment, you need to give a 200,000 euro fee to the government before it was $100,000. They decided that instead of closing the program, they would just increase the price of the program. So in reality, if you're going for the coastal areas, you're spending 650,000 euros plus government fees. You're really spending about 700,000 euros, which is now around 700,000 US dollars to get this citizenship, which is not a great passport right now, but it will join the European Union later on and become an even better passport. Country number nine, one that has a lot of controversy because no one has actually gotten this citizenship and this passport yet by investment is North Macedonia. With an investment of $200,000 into an investment fund in the country, you can get the citizenship in a couple of months, but nobody has actually gotten it yet. So is it a real program? 
Are you really going to get the citizenship? We don't know yet. That's why I'm not doing it yet. I myself am very interested in this program. It's not one of the best passports in the world, but it is a good passport to have as part of your portfolio for just $200,000. And you're going to get it back after two years and pay a couple of fees to the government. I think it's definitely worth it. But we need to see first people actually getting this passport and the citizenship by investing. And then we can be more confident in it. I will, of course, make more videos once this actually becomes a real program and people start receiving their citizenships. And the last country for citizenship by investment, which I find ridiculous, for $1 million in the central bank for at least three years, you get Jordanian citizenship. A lot of Jordanian people get Turkish citizenship, Dominican citizenship, and other citizenships. Jordan wants to attract more people in the region. Those people that want to invest in Jordan, they can invest this 1 million US dollars into the central bank and get citizenship, but you're probably not going to do that program. Apart from these 10 countries, there's other countries around the world that offer their citizenship, but a little bit less structured and more shadier programs, even though you can still get the citizenship. I don't recommend those programs, but they exist. And a lot of people want to learn about them. For example, the Romania citizenship by investment you can get it for just twenty-five thousand us dollars is that a real program is it fake check this video right here romania passport and eu citizenship lets you travel to almost the entire world for just twenty-five thousand us dollars check my video right here and learn all about that and many other opportunities